welcome to Nancy's Kitchen. That's who I am, Nancy. And I'm going to show you a dish that is very simple and very simple and easy and don't take a whole lot of time to do. It's called pasta salad. Okay, let me show you some of my ingredients that I have here. Um, you can go to the store. This came from Kroger. This is called the Crab Imitation Meat. And this is my mixed vegetables that I'm gonna be using the pasta, which is it's a colorful vegetable. Um, and I use this, you can get this just about anywhere. I use the carrots, the grated carrots. I use shrimps, you can use um, shrimps that's already clean and uh, already, you can use them with the shell on or you can take the shell out. But I'm gonna take and peel these shells off, okay? Um, I have some broccoli here. You can use, I'm not going to use all this broccoli. I'm just probably going to use about half of this. You can use the uh, fresh broccoli or you can use the frozen broccoli. But if you use the frozen broccoli, you're going to have to let it sit for a while and, and make sure that it's drained it and the water is out of it. Okay, I have my main ingredients to stirring it up with is ranch dressing. Ranch ranch dressing but it's really make sure it has buttermilk on it and i also have italian dressing i had a little bit of that in there so the first thing i'm going to do is try to get these pasta on and get them started boiling i have some water over here i always take you on know, more of my water okay now i have some boiling water on the stove here it's been boiling about two minutes and I have some 100% grape seed oil. I use, use olive oil, um, some extra virgin olive oil, or each of the grape seed oil. So this is what I have. So you just add about a tablespoon full of this grape seed oil in here. And this just to kind of help keep it um, from the pasta from sticking together. And so when you do that, you am going to see. I'm not going to do a whole lot, so I'm just going to do enough to make it feed about six pieces. So I have, you know, a bigger bag. You know, you get this in a box so you can get it in the package. But I had so happy to just run across there. So now you just take and make sure that they all covered up in the water and in the oil. And you just kind of like press it down. And Stir it up so the oil can get on and then you just leave it there. And you just let it start to bubble for about, maybe about seven minutes. These are carrots, they are already grated, but I like to take and cut mine up, just, you know, make them a little bit smaller. And I like my uh, pasta a little bit crunchy, like, I don't, I don't like everything so soft that, you know, the only thing you're gonna do is this. Like, you know, swallow. I like to have a crunch in my pasta salad. Just a little crunch. So I'm cutting up this right here. These carrots, they already been grated. I bought them grated up. Some people's taking use the regular carrots and they do their own grading and stuff. But I, you know, just to make it a short thing, I'm just gonna grate or cut these up. So that's good right there. Okay, this is the grated carrots that I just did and i imagine this is the problem because i don't measure everything but this is approximately about a cup or a half a cup let's say a half a cup of carrots so now i'm going to my imitation crab meat you can use real crab meat if you like but i'm just doing a quick dish very quick so what we do here is take this crab meat and we just slice it up Go as fast as you can. We're trying to get the dish to go in here because we don't, I'm still looking at my time, trying to time my um, pasta. So there you go there. But I'm gonna try to cut up all of this because I like plenty of meat in my pasta. Okay, I'm, I done cut this uh, imitation crab meat up. I'm taking it and adding that in there with the carrots they've been banged so they, they are clean see now see right there that go a little bit right there you see that you got to get that out i don't eat that part make sure they're clean and that's what i'm doing i'll be through with this in, in no time because it's 
I maybe have maybe about 20, 25 of these and that's what I'm gonna use in my salad for today. Okay, I'm, I have finished cleaning these uh, shrimps. And, and just like I was saying, if you want to save some time, you just buy them in, in a smaller brand, but these are very large. And then you, they only like maybe about $5. They already been cleaned and everything. It wouldn't, it wouldn't take, and I think this made about 30 of them. So I'm gonna put this to the side. And my next thing is to get this pasta drained. Oh, it's too much on cold water. So, there it is. You want some cold water over it? Some people say they don't drain the pasta. I mean, you know, they don't uh, drench the pasta. Even though I put the oil in there and everything, this is just to cool it off. This got to be cool before I can even mix up all this other stuff in there. And the purpose of the oil is so that the pastures won't stick together and it will not stick to the pot. See how, how flaky they, how they can come right on up? And they are all doing, but they're very soft. See how they, you can just set it into this, very soft. So if you don't want to cook them so when they just turn to mush, you want to cook them just so that, now I'm gonna let these sit right in the drain. My next step is to take the shrimps and take and put them into the bowl with all the other ingredients, the carrots and the, and the imitation crab meat. And so all this is in here. So you're gonna let that sit right there. Okay, now um, I got my broccoli into, into a strain pot thing. And I'm gonna take and just put them on and just run some cold water on them. Just run some water on them. Just run some water. I like to make sure everything is been rinsed off a little bit before I try to um, mix anything. So, but anyway, these are the long stems. So, just like I said, you can use these because I like stuff kind of crunchy and make it taste good to me. I like the crunch. But you can use the frozen ones. But if you get the frozen ones, you're gonna have to drain them. You're gonna have to make sure they're thawed out and drain it. And then you will have to put them in the microwave and just kind of like cook them maybe about two minutes or so. But I would like mine's crunch. So that's the way that goes. So now I'm gonna take this to my cutting table. Okay, I'm finna get ready to start cutting up this broccoli. Now I kind of cut this up small and so that it could mix very well into the pasta. So I, I do it very small, very small. See how small that is? See how small that is? Stems and all. You can take and just cut this all up and see how crunchy it sounds. I love the sound. I know it's fresh and it is nutritional for your body. And, um, but you know, you can use the, uh, the ones that's frozen, but you're just gonna take a while to try to get them drained and trying to get some of the water out of them and stuff. So I advise you really, if you wanna really do it, make it taste delicious, just try to do it with the, a bunch of carrots. I mean, a bunch of, of broccoli that's already, you know, on a stem or when you go to the store, you just buy the bush. Or you can buy it in a package just like I have. So now this is it here, see? That's a, maybe about two cups. Mix that in there. And if you run across some stems in there, don't throw them away, cause it's good. Let's chop them up real small so, you know, you can eat it. It's gonna be good. Everything. Okay, I got everything in here now. Now, I'm gonna take, I got some, some mushroom, Italian sauce, dressing, and I like to add a little bit of this in there. Just to start it off. How much? I don't know. 
All I know is that you just add it in there. Just add it in there. Where's my spoon? Here we go. And the reason for adding that in is just to make it easy to stir it around and everything. And I got to take and stir it up. Now, if you like red pebbles, red uh, pebbles, you can put, add that in there, but I, I don't care for red pebbles that much. But you can put the red pebbles in there, the orange pebbles, or the um, yellow pebbles. You can cut that in here. But um, one thing I do want to show you also that I put in my salad is the Old Bay Season. Old Bay Season. You know, I use this quite a bit. So I start, try to put some of this in here. Cover the top real good, real good. Okay, this is the buttermilk ranch dressing. If you can find just plain buttermilk dressing, that is good. But if not the ranch, buttermilk and ranch is just as good. So I'm gonna use all of this in here. Cause I need to get a bigger thing. Uh, put in here. This is not the smallest one, but this is one paint which is 16 ounces. Now I'm gonna take and start stirring this. Stir it. Just stir it. See how it begin to look? And like I said, you put some orange peppers in there. Uh, some red peppers in there. Uh, I do have some, I think I got some red peppers. I don't care for all of them pebbles in there, but I will put, maybe I might just put a little bit in here. I don't know. Let's see. See how it's beginning to look? Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this Italian dressing in there because this pasta, it, it eats up all the, liquor it just you know it makes it it dries it out real quick see how they did so the most sauce of uh, dressing you got in the better it tastes and i also got to add a little bit more of that old bay season in here and i forgot i haven't forgot i usually add just a little sugar in mine Made about a tablespoon full of sugar. See how I had some of this in here once before, but just cover the top. Once you cover the top, you know that you got maybe enough. And that's my second time going around because this got to go in here and soak in here. Then that's what gonna make it taste really good. I'm going to put maybe about a tablespoon of the sugar in here. That just to make it, you know, flavor it up just a little bit. You don't need no more than that. But a bigger container like this, you need a big tablespoon. So here we go. Stir it up. Okay, I have some pepper here, which is white pepper, ground pepper. And I got this from the farmer's market. It ain't but like three dollars and eighty-three cents. So I, I'm gonna put oh a razor sign. Well, I put maybe a light pepper, maybe about a teaspoon of this in here, which I already put some in there. That be enough. If you don't have this kind of white pepper, then you can use black pepper just as well. Little cheese too, just give it a, another little flavor. I have um, about a cup and a fourth, one and a fourth cup of cheese, grated cheese. So you put that in there. See. Stir it up. Now we are ready for the taste test. I have my husband here, and he's gonna be the taste tester. So, <laughs> you ready, baby? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little bit of everything. Some shrimp, crab meat, yeah, a little bit of everything. So you tell me. You might not even wanna eat all that. Here you go, the taste test. Yeah, yeah. This is good. You think I need to add anything else in there? This is all right. Thank you for watching Nancy's Kitchen. I have took the time to just make this salad and I hope that you will try it. 
Um, it's called pasta salad. It's very easy to make, and it's not a long process of, of making it. So if you would try it, I know you would like it. Um, next time, we will do something different. But as of now, I would like to know what kind of comments you will have. Will you give me your comments? If you like it, like it. And I welcome to you for the next time. Bye. And enjoyed it. And I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> Let me start all over.